Hello everyone. Welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we will learn how to sort linked list which is already sorted on absolute values. So, the problem statement says we have given a linked list which is sorted based on absolute values. We have to sort the linked list based on actual values. Let's see some examples to demonstrate the above problem statement. In the first example, we have given a linked list 1, minus 2, minus 3, 4, minus 5. So here we can see it is already sorted if we take absolute values of all the nodes. So after sorting according to actual values, we get linked list as minus 5, minus 3, minus 2, 1, 4. In the second example, we have given a linked list 1 minus 10. After sorting, we get minus 10, 1. Let's see different methods to solve the given problem statement. So, first method is to sort the linked list using insertion sort. Time complexity of this solution will be O n square. Let's see whether we can improve this solution. Second method is quite similar to first method Instead of using insertion sort, we use merge sort to sort the linked list. Time complexity of this solution will be O n log n. Let's see method 3 which is the most efficient solution to the given problem. So what we do? We traverse the linked list and whenever we find an element which is out of order, we move that element to the front of the linked list. Time complexity of this solution will be O n. Let's implement this method and understand it by taking an example. So we have given a linked list 0, 1, minus 2, 3, 4, 5, minus 5. So inside this function sort list we initialize prev and cur pointers. So initially prev and head points on 0 and cut points on 1. We will then traverse the linked list. Since cut data is greater than prev data, we will update prev with cur and move cur forward. Since cut data is less than prev data, we will enter this if condition. Firstly, we will update next of prev with next of cur. So after this step next of 1 points on 3. Next step is to update next of cur with head of the linked list. So next of minus 2 now points on 0. Next we update head with cur pointer thus moving current node to beginning and we also update cur with prev. After this step, head now points on minus 2 and we move current ahead. Since next of current points on 3, cur points on 3. Since cur data is greater than prev data, we will update prev with cur and will move cur forward. Similarly, current cur data is still greater than prev data, we will update prev with cur and move cur forward. Since 5 is greater than 4, we move prev to 5 and cur to minus 5. Since cur data is less than prev data, we again enter the if condition and update next of prev with next of cur. Since Next of minus 5 is null, so after updation, next of 5 points on null. Next, we point next of cur to point to head of the linked list. So after updation, next of minus 5 points on minus 2. We then update head with cur and cur with prev. So after this step, head points on minus 5 and cur points on 5. We then update cur with 
next of cur. Since next of cur is null, cur now becomes null. So we stop the traversal. So we have completed our algorithm. Let's properly rearrange this linked list to check whether we have got the sorted linked list or not. Since head is pointing on minus 5, first node in sorted linked list will be minus 5. Next of minus 5 points on minus 2, so next node in sorted linked list will be minus 2. Next of minus 2 points on 0, so next node will be 0. Next of 0 points on 1, so next node will be 1. Since next of 1 points on 3, so next node in sorted linked list will be 3. Next of 3 points on 4, so next node will be 4. Next of 4 is 5, so next node will be 5. Since next of 5 is null, means we have reached end of linked list. So after rearrangement, we get linked list as minus 5, minus 2, 0, 1, 3, 4, 5, which is sorted. So this verifies our algorithm. With this, we end our tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please leave us your likes and comments.